Is it too late for Minecraft Story Mode Season 3? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, I didn't really know where to go with this discussion per se because this is something that I've been noticing in the comment section in my videos and I thought it was something I would um, address personally just because there is some truth to this. Is it really too late for Minecraft Story Mode to continue? And I just want to give my personal opinions on like why I think so and like why I don't at the same time. It's like really a confusing case because in theory Minecraft Story Mode is technically dead but there is still like a lot of interest from the community itself like you guys that still want a 3 season Minecraft Story Mode which is why I figured that this was a good video to make because a lot of you guys have been mentioning about Minecraft Story Mode and it's their season and all of you wanted to return and I really want to return as well. I don't think Total Games are able to make Minecraft Story Mode Season 3 and someone mentioned um, like why is that and it's because Total Games, they do not own the right to the Minecraft franchise and so they can't really make Minecraft Story Mode Season 3 just because they don't own the rights anymore. Also I want to mention the fact that someone else mentioned why can't Minecraft Story Mode, like why can't Total Games get it back? Like why is that not a possibility? And I basically want to talk about like I'm gonna assume that Total Games themselves, they're unable to get Minecraft Story Mode back because it costs a lot of money, or there's some like licensing issues with like Mojang or Microsoft, because I totally forgot. But I guess Microsoft owns Mojang, if I'm correct. Um, they own Mojang, so basically Microsoft basically has like the final words of like what goes and what comes. So that's something that I found like really interesting and. Really, I really want to talk about like, is Minecraft Story Mode Season 3 really too late? So let's just talk about it. Basically, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 came out in 2017, I believe, like somewhere around there. And the first season of Minecraft Story Mode came out around like 2015 or 16, I believe, but we're going to talk about Season 2. So if Season 2 came out in December, like the last episode came out in December 2017, I believe, then that means it's been over 6 years since Season 2 of Minecraft Story Mode came out. Now the thing is, is that we had games before in the past, not Minecraft exactly, but like other games in general, where games would come out, in, like their next sequel would come out in a very long time, up to 10 years. For example, Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm pretty sure those two games have a big um, year gap of like when those games came out, and it was just because the developers simply just didn't want to make a second Red Dead Redemption until like after a while they just decided hey let's make another Red Dead Redemption game. I don't know I think it was like 10 years I could be wrong maybe it was like 5 to 8 I have to check on like the Wikipedia of like when Red Dead Redemption went into release. Someone also mentioned something that I didn't really think was possible but it kind of makes sense is that the voice actors themselves the people that are playing these characters like Jesse and Petra and Lucas I believe was his name. Basically all those characters like the people that voice these characters could be moving on to other projects and also there's the factor of them getting older so they would not be able to represent their roles if they like retired or something. That was something that I really didn't think about until recently but I just thought that was like a really interesting discussion that someone mentioned and it's a really good point how the voice actor of Jesse, who is voiced by Pan Oswald and Catherine Tabor for a female Jesse, they could simply just not be interested in returning to Minecraft Story Mode. Now, the thing is, in Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, we actually had a voice actor get replaced, and it's Olivia, I believe. Olivia changed the voice actor from Season 1 and Season 2, and it wasn't really a big difference. I'm not sure what issues there was, maybe the voice actress for um, Olivia didn't want to come back or it could be possible that they were trying to go for a cheaper route maybe tell the games to all tell the games when they want to like recast Olivia because Olivia is not really in the story of season 2 I believe at least as far as I remember she's not really a part of the season 2 storyline and it's possible that they just didn't want to pay extra for original voice actress or maybe she simply just didn't want to come back I don't know what the reasoning is but if they were to make a 30 season of Minecraft Story Mode and they wanted to bring back Jesse, they would definitely change the voice actors for Jesse, I would assume, which I don't really want that to happen, but that's most likely the route they're gonna go. Especially if they're going for like a cheaper route because Pat Oswald and 
at least Ashley Johnson, I feel like they're pretty big names and I feel like they would be a little bit more expensive now and if Telltale Games were to get the license again, I would assume that I don't know if they're able to afford it, but I don't think Telltale Games are going to get the license. This is something that's in the hands of Mojang and um, Microsoft. But yeah, ultimately it's up for Mojang and Microsoft to be like up for the deciding factor on like what should happen to Microsoft in Season 3. Now, my personal opinion. Is it really too late for Microsoft and Season 3 to happen? It's kind of a hard answer to give. It's basically a yes and a no. Now, I really hate to say this because I just I just hate to say it, but it has been a while since Season 2 came out, and I feel like if they were to make a new story of Minecraft Storm or Season 3, they would have to start over the story, and like, not like start over, but like, it would just be a whole new cast of characters and a whole new story, which I'm fine with, personally. I just really want like a same style game as Minecraft Story Mode. Um, New Tales from the Borderlands tried to do this, in case you guys didn't know, it's a sequel to Tales from the Borderlands. It wasn't made by Tuller Games, the sequel. It was made by 2K themselves, or Ge Gearbox, something like that. And I personally was not a big fan of it. I actually thought it was really a big disappointment with the characters and the cast. It just didn't feel like the good flow of like the original game, and so that's kind of like what annoyed me so much about the sequel. So I'm really worried if Microsoft Windows Season 3 does do like a whole new cast of characters and it's all brand new. I'm really worried that it's not going to be a good story and it's going to be just like a cash grab pretty much. That's what I'm personally worried about. And I really hope that's not the case because I do think that Microsoft Windows does have the potential. I think Season 1 and Season 2, I think they were pretty solid seasons and I think they definitely deserve more in like the franchise themselves. In the Minecraft story mode, um, I know we're gonna get like a Minecraft movie, and it's most likely, it seems like the movie is gonna be following like the Minecraft story mode, like arc at least a little bit. It's like a rumor right now, so we don't really know for sure if it's gonna be following some arcs from like Minecraft story mode, like the Order of the Stone and things like that. I do not, I do not think so, but like, it seems like it in the rumors. But yeah, this is something that's pretty interesting and I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below of what you guys think about all this because it's really intriguing that we really don't know like what's gonna happen. So it's really nice to have this conversation with you guys and I really do appreciate it. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, pop up channel a bunch. Thank you guys so, so much. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for the amount of support. I really appreciate it. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, and I, I I can't even talk. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later in another video. So I hope you guys have a good one. Bye, everyone.